Hello, I am GIS intern Shania Kelly in for Don Bush on this Wednesday. Residents who are part of the Prospect Red Bay Community Group are doing their best as Celebrate Cayman holds its 60 Acts of Service event. Happening next Monday, June 3rd at the Seafarers Hall in Prospect, the event called Healthy Living Night will focus on just that, health. The Seventh-day Adventist Church will be hosting and offering lots of free services to those who attend, including health screenings for blood pressure, cholesterol, stress tests, massages, foot baths, healthy cooking demonstrations, and talks on the effects and prevention of substance abuse. Again, residences are encouraged to go out and be a part of the Celebrate Cayman event. It starts at 7 p.m. at the Seafarers Hall next Monday, June 3rd. Also making headlines today, the Department of Environment received reports of several individuals being stung by jellyfish on Monday at Stingray Sun Bar and near the North Sounds Barrier Reef. Two people were taken to hospital with injuries from the jellyfish stings. The Department of Environment has identified the jellies causing the stings as sea wasps, a small two to three inch species that is nearly transparent. They are occasionally found off the coastal waters of Florida, Bahamas, and other areas of the Caribbean. Sea wasps are rare in Cayman, however, recent weather conditions may be responsible for bringing them into nearshore waters. Anyone going to the stingray sandbar or near the barrier reef is asked to be cautious and to seek medical attention if you are stung. A home treatment option of pouring white vinegar on sting areas for relief is also suggested. We end with sad news this Wednesday. Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin said he was deeply saddened to have learned of the passing of former Jamaican Prime Minister Edward Siaga yesterday. Premier McLaughlin said he will be remembered as a great and respected Caribbean leader and as one of Jamaica's outstanding politicians. He was the only remaining member of the team who drafted the constitution when Jamaica gained independence from the UK in 1962 and one of the longest serving members of parliament, not just in Jamaica but in the Caribbean, holding his seat in West Kingston for over 43 years. I knew him personally and have found memories of our conversations on occasions when he visited Grand Cayman, continued Premier McLaughlin. My sincere condolences goes to his family and friends. Edward Siaga, 89, died on his birthday in Miami. For a look at our weekly schedule of programs here on CIG TV, you can go online to gis.gov.ky. And if you missed today's news updates on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. I am GIS intern Shania Kelly in for Donna Bush with your news update. Thank you for joining us. The Royal Cayman Islands Police Service has launched a new service to apply for a police clearance certificate online. To make this process quick and easy, ensure you have digital copies of all required documents readily available. At a minimum, you'll need a copy of your passport photo page. Our website lists the full requirements. If you are using an Apple iOS or Android mobile device, you can use the camera to take photos of these documents while completing your application. After you have read the instructions and are ready to start, Type in the alphanumeric string from the CAPTCHA image and click the green button that says Start Application. If you can't read the letters and numbers properly, click Can't Read Image below the photo to try again. To complete your application, you will follow five simple steps. These are shown at the top of each page, and the blue circle will always show where you are right now. Enter the requested data in each field. All fields marked with an asterisk are required. Each field has some help information and please pay attention to the correct format for dates and telephone numbers in particular. When selecting your birthday, you can also use the calendar feature. If a field has a drop-down list, you can scroll through alphabetically or start typing to find the correct option. You will be asked to enter your email address twice to ensure it's correct. This is the address we will use to send you a confirmation email and receipt. Once you have entered all of the required information, click Next at the bottom of the screen. If you click the Cancel Application button at any stage in the process, you will lose everything you've entered so far and be returned to the home page. On this page, 
Answer the questions about past offenses, provide details if relevant, and then click Next. In this step, you will select the type of service being requested and details of the person applying, as well as anyone who might pick up the certificate on his or her behalf. If you select certain options, more information may be required at this stage or later in the process when you are uploading your documents. Finally, select the reasons you are applying and then click Next. If you make a mistake, use the drop-down menu to change the reason or click the red X to delete a line. Remember, if you click the Cancel Application button at any stage in the process, you will lose everything you've entered so far and be returned to the home page. If you need to go back to a previous page to review or change data you already entered, you can use the Back button. You can also navigate through the process using the links at the top of the page. On this page, you will be asked for the relevant digital documents to support your application. On each line, click the Upload icon, select the correct file, and then click Upload. Repeat this process for each document. Based on the information you've already entered, this page will tell you the basic documents required. However, please remember to read the guidance notes to ensure you've included everything for your particular application. You can click the Upload More Documents button if you need to add more files, using the Comments field to briefly explain the additional documents you are submitting. If you go back to previous sections after uploading documents and make changes that affect these requirements, you may need to re-upload your documents. This is the final page before submission. Please review all information provided to ensure it is accurate and complete. You won't be able to change anything on this page, but you can use the back button or the links at the top of the page to return to earlier pages and update any field. By submitting this application, you are declaring that the information provided is accurate and truthful. If you are satisfied with your application, click Proceed to Online Payment. You may need to allow pop-ups and then click the button again to show the payment screen where you will enter your debit or credit card information. The Cayman Islands government accepts Visa and MasterCard and you can use a debit or credit card issued anywhere in the world. Payment will be processed in Cayman Islands dollars for local service and in United States dollars for overseas service. If you have questions about any exchange rate that will be used or foreign currency transaction fees, please contact the bank that issued your card. The Cayman Islands government will not receive or retain your card information. Once your online payment has been authorized, you can view and print your receipt. Click Continue to return to our webpage for details on pickup date and time. If there is an issue with your application and we have to contact you for more information, your application may be delayed. You will also receive a confirmation email with this information and your official receipt. Please remember to bring your passport for identification when you collect your certificate from the Criminal Records Office. Did you know that planning permission is required for a shed? Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required? Did you know planning permission is required to clear land by mechanical means? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required.